<laughs> Brand new Ed Nacho's Excellent Inventions. Enjoy! <laughs> We've got a television show of our own Ooh, yeah. Making stuff that's been designed by you lot at home yeah. Building your inventions the best that we can yeah. Mostly our yeah. rubbish from the back of our van We've even got a title that will grab your attention All together now! What are you doing exactly? I drive a new car. You're driving a new car? Yes, I'm in a bar. It goes really fast, does it? Yes. It, it doesn't go anywhere. There's no engine in it. What? This van goes faster than that. That's saying something. Oi. Oh, look. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, oh the wheel's falling off. Ah. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> hello, Ed Petrie, destroyer of dreams. <laughs> oh, hello, boss. Uh, well, you should see Outcho's ridiculous car. <laughs> and oh, no, no, actually, I've just had a brilliant idea. Wait, wait, wait. How about we do a car invention show? Yeah, I, I'm really blokey. I can fit in with those Top Gear presenters. Hi, I'm a Petrie. Watch me drive really fast. Yeah, it'd be brilliant. And or not? Okay. Yeah, yeah we just we just do the usual stuff then. OK, yeah, yeah, love you. I mean, I mean, bye. I think she's wrong, you know. Yeah, I think a car invention show would be brilliant. I, I, I'll have a look at some moving inventions. Uh, what about this, the dino rider? Oh, no, it's difficult to build. What about, what about the propeller scooters? Yeah, they could be... What? what about this one? What, this one here? The Fizzerari, a lemonade-powered car. From Sally in West Yorkshire. Yeah, you love lemonade, don't you? Yeah. You bet you could drive faster than her car? Yeah. What, in your. Outchomobile. Outchomobile. Yeah. OK, well, we'll see about that, shall we? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, let's surprise Sally in West Yorkshire by building her lemonade power car. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love surprises. <laughs> She's not going to believe this. Oh, no, huh? You sure hey, she's not expecting us? Hey! Wow! Well, it's Ed and Ocho here to make your invention go. Hey! Ho, You're absolutely 100% sure that she's not expecting us. Your invention go. Hey! 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 Oh, hi, Ed. Hi, Archer. I've got you some cake. Surprise! Hi, Sally. Did you know we were coming? Oh, yeah, Archer told me. Surprise! I wonder what all those calls to Yorkshire were about. Go, 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 go! Oh, Sally, that cake was lovely. Thanks. Surprise! Yeah, I think even the fish knew we were coming. Do you, do you even know what a surprise is? Eh? Ah, boss, good ass, good ass. You haven't got a clue. Yeah, I was starting to realise that. Anyway, Sally, you know why we're here now, obviously. Yeah. And why is that? You're going to make my lemonade power car. Exactly. The Fizzerari. It's going to be brilliant. Now, what I need you to do is wear this. It's the Brainstorm helmet. <laughs> it's going to suck all the great ideas out of your head. And I'm going to write them down in my book of ideas. So... Sally, look into my eyes. Look into my eyes, Sally, and tell me, why do you want to invent the Fizzerari? I want to invent the Fizzerari because I really love lemonade and I want to power my car with lemonade. It would be fun to drive really, really fast and beat out you in a race. It is such a good idea. I've always wanted to do a car-related show. Oh, and I lost our loom doggers. Yeah, and he loves lemonade, so everyone's happy. Oh, and also... Outcho's car is rubbish, so you'll definitely beat him in that race. Right, let's get making this Fizzerari. <laughs> Sally wants us to build her a car. Cars are powered by internal combustion engines, and here's how internal combustion engines work. In an internal combustion engine, the fuel, petrol, is ignited by a spark, causing an explosion when you turn the key. 
This explosion creates gas. The force of this gas pushes a piston, which moves a crankshaft which is connected to the axle. The axle is connected to wheels which turn to drive the vehicle forwards. <laughs> I should be on top gear with all my car knowledge, shouldn't I? The tabloid editors, what a mean book! It's not a shame I'm reading from a pink book. No, look, th this is a science book, all right? Just because it's pink, it doesn't... It's... Look, it's irrelevant anyway, because we can't use an internal combustion engine, because Sally wants her car to run on lemonade, and you can't set fire to lemonade, which is a problem. B. So, do we A, solve the problem, or B, ignore it, build the car anyway, and hope the problem somehow sorts itself out? Hmm. Hmm. Glergen. Yeah. Yeah, B. D. B's definitely the right choice. <laughs> And guess which part of the lemonade-powered car we're getting here, Outcho? Mmm, <coughs> tacos. Yeah, that's right. Sorry. Come on! Ah, <coughs> oh, <coughs> oh, it's thirsty work, this building, isn't it? Oh, day. Mm. Yeah, at least you got the final bit, right? Congratulations, I knew on this team for a reason. Mm. You really do like your lemonade, don't you? Oh, they are the best lump crackers. You helped invent it. They, but your never do so the are is harder. So you helped invent lemonade with John Mervyn Nooth in the 18th century. They, truthfully. They, honestly. They. Well, that's really good. That could really help us out. Mm, I lost. Mm. How did that come about? Yeah, he was a famous on the era, uh -huh. and a suit la 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 kicker. You know what, household friend? Hmm? I used to love bath times, but I'm bored. I'm bored of water. So dull the way it sits around the place. Ugh. Oh. What can we do to make water more exciting? Why don't those combine lockers with gobas? We could combine it with a gas. Me? Yes. Yes, you mean this sort of gas? Not a flaming jerbit. Oh, carbon dioxide! Hey. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Yes, we could take water, combine it with carbon dioxide, hey. and add bacon! Yes, yes, then people can eat whilst they're bathing. Lovely. We shall call it bath o gassy bacon. Ha ha! No, 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 You can also call it a lump talk. Yes, yes. Add sugar and lemons, yes. Yes, add sugar, lemons, frizzy water. Oh, that sounds delicious. In fact, I don't want to bathe in it. I want to drink it. Yes, yes, we've created a new drink. Oh. And, and we shall call this drink... Uh, coffee. Uh, have you come out with the... Coffee's already been done, this. We call us Lum Tokas. Yes, lemonade. Mm. We'll call it lemonade. Hey. Brilliant. And uh, uh, yes, ha <laughs> And look, I've already created Larry the Lemon to promote it. Oh. Uh, what did you say, Larry? What a song for all boys and girls. <laughs> lemonade, uh, lemonade. Uh, oh, you let them keep all the credit. Hey. Oh, well, that's a very helpful and worthwhile story. Mm. Uh, just one thing, must ask. Uh, it is a complete and total lie, isn't it? Uh, uh, D. Good. Good. Well, I'm glad we wasted everyone's time at home with that. <laughs> Sally! All right. What are all those lemons for? Oh, these? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm making homemade, traditional, trendy organic lemonade. You know, with no additives, sugar or burp-inducing bubbles, you know, the sort of thing Jamie Oliver wants us to drink. Is that really a good idea? I haven't got any choice. The Big Big Cheese wants me to. I I've got to promote healthy eating after... the incident. Eat more cake! Eat cake! Don't listen to the scientists! Thank the good for you! Eat... Feed cake to your pets! Okay. Well, anyway, everything's going to be fine this time. I'm just glad we picked your invention and not the dino rider from Ross and East Sussex. <laughs> mm. 
Kleine Klops. Bad. Oh, do you better, boss? Yeah, dinosaurs are scary. Do you? This invention is much better. Oh, do you? Sally, what do you think of this prototype we've knocked up? Wow. You're not being sarcastic, are you? No. No, no, good, good, because this is going to be brilliant. Honestly, al although I, I am a little bit worried about the safety aspect, that's why I'm getting out show to test it. <laughs> Nobody at home should copy the dangerous things that we do. We are. Train professionals. Then why don't you do it, Ed? Because I'm not an idiot. You right there, Outro, old buddy? Oh, day, day. Yeah, you ready? I was born He was born ready! Day. Yeah, now, Sally, take that. Oh, this is like Top Gear, isn't it? But more exciting! Oh. Let's go! Ha! Ah. Uh, what am I meant? Don't worry about him, he's a fully trained stuntman. You're all right, aren't you, mate? <sighs> I don't understand why it didn't work. I read the book and everything. Don't make boss. Shut up! <sighs> Should have worked. Are you sure you want the Fizzerari to move? Mm. I mean, moving's very overrated. The isn't it? More about robots. Yeah, yeah, it's very out of fashion. The I mean, being still, being still's in now. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. I mean, check this out. Ed, you're boring me. All right, all right, all right. We'll make the Fizzerari move. Do you? Um... Oh, no, I know. Huh? Oh, it's obvious I should have done it ages ago. Huh? No, no, I'll just ring Jeremy Clarkson. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's a uh, BBC uh, presenter like me. Uh, He'll have seen me and admired my genius. I don't uh, know why I didn't think of this before. It's obvious. Clarkson. <laughs> Hello, is that Jeremy Clarkson? Hello, is that Petrie? <laughs> yeah, that's the one. I... What? Well, I don't like your hair either. All your books. In fact, my mum and dad bought a couple of your books. Do you know where they are now? They're in the toilet. Yeah, that's right, Clarkson. Your books are in the toilet. Your books are in the toilet. Your books are in the toilet. Hello? Hello? One problem. Hmm? You forgot to ask him how to get the Fizzerari to work. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not ringing him again. He probably doesn't even know how cars work. He just pretends he likes cars. He probably presses flowers, really. Oh, no, I know. I know, I know. Ah, I know who to ring. Huh? He works in the city. He's this guy I know. He's called Dow Jones. Oh. Right, he has loads of money. He's always driving around in fast cars, shouting at pedestrians and stuff. He's always on the move. He never stops. Ah. Yeah, no, I've got his number somewhere. I'll ring him. <laughs> Dow Jones here, speak. Oh, um, uh, 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 it's you, Petrie. Well, uh, well, keep it short, yeah? Yeah, I'm in, I'm in Japan. It's getting late. Uh, oh, hold on, got Alan Sugar on the line. Hello, Alan? Yeah, 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 the, uh, the Alan Sugar concept is working very well. So sell, the sell big, is it's better in tea than salt. Yeah, yeah, ciao. Speak, Petrie! Uh, uh, right, well, the, the thing is, we're building a car uh, and it hasn't got an engine, but we still need to make it move. So, uh, and, and you're always on the move, so I thought I'd ring you. So, 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 so how do we get something to move? Hmm. Well, without an engine, you've got to think rocket power. Think propulsion. Propulsion? Yeah. Yeah, propulsion is the force that makes something move forwards or upwards. What are you working with? Uh, lemonade. Lemonade? Now, that is an interesting concept. Yeah, yeah, and it's very expensive organic lemonade with, uh, with free-range lemons, but it doesn't seem to be doing the trick. That's a schoolboy error, Petrie! You can power a car by lemonade, but it's not the lemons causing the propulsion. 
It's the gas inside it. It's the carbon dioxide petri. Carbon dioxide in the lemonade is resting. It's work shy, and this is not acceptable. Shake up the bottle, and the carbon dioxide will wake up and get angry, expand, and demand to escape. Go, go, go! Yeah, it needs to be motivated to escape. The force of the escaping carbon dioxide in one direction pushes the car forward in the other direction. Oh, lovely. Thanks for that. I'll invoice you, Petrie. It's thirsty work being as amazing as me. Right, so what we need to do, apparently, is get as much fizz into lemonade as we can so we can make your car go as far as possible. Right. Let's experiment. So, we've got the lemonade. Now what we need is, is some sort of contraption that we can put the lemonade on so we can measure how far it goes. Er, uh, Ed? What did you Yeah, that would be very useful. Uh, Sally, you can release the lemonade. Cool. Yeah, thought you'd like that. Outcho, you Thanks. do the measuring. Hard day. Let's shake this baby up. <laughs> right. Lemonade shaken. Release the lemonade! <laughs> what was that one, Outcho? Again, Gluga. Three. Day. Well, that was all right, wasn't it? Let's go home. Wasn't that good. You've got to shake the lemonade bottle harder next time. Yeah, all right. I've got thin arms. Yeah, why don't I put out that jacket, buddy? The mouth in the bar. Uh, yeah, yeah, right. We'll use your strangely convenient shaking machine. See if that works any better. <laughs> Okay, lemonade shaken. Release the lemonade! <laughs> what was that, Alcho? Ah, uh, again, Gluka. Three? D. Yeah, I don't think much of your shaking machine. Oh. It still isn't going far enough. Yeah, I know, but I don't see how I can wake the gas up inside anymore. Could we add some extra gas? That's a great idea, yeah, yeah, we just put extra gas in. Right, how are we going to do that? Uh, yeah. This really is incredibly handy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll just use these to put air in, cos um, there's loads of gases in there, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, it says here that the, uh, air is 78% nitrogen, 21% oxygen and 1% other gases. And stop nodding like you knew that already. Brilliant! Right, so I'll pump some extra air in here, get the gas nice and compressed so it shoots off, and then you can release it with this that I found in the back of the van. Right. Good. Sally, clear the area. Clear. Good. All right, get loads of gas in there. That's nicely pumped up. Outro, you ready? Oh, D. Release the lemonade! <laughs> so what was that, Outro? Ah, flog on top. Four. D. <laughs> right. I think this is really going to compress it this time. Release the lemonade! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you couldn't measure that, could you? That was off the scale. D. <laughs> well done, scientists. Excellent experimenting. So what we've learned is you've got to pump as much gas as possible into the lemonade-powered car to make it go as far as it can. Yeah, that's about it. It's going to be easy. Your invention is going to be the easiest one ever. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad we didn't choose those propeller scooters from Tilly and Lewisham. Yeah, that could have gone a bit wrong, I reckon. <laughs> Would have been a bad idea. No. Yeah, I'm starting to wonder whether it wouldn't be such a bad idea after all. You should have mm. just been looking where you were going. I a good brother. Are you a very good driver? You? No. Right. I'm not but I'll do that wrong. You're going to show us when you race Sally in your little car, are you? Out uh, of Oh, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry. Out of Chomabi. Out thinks he's going to beat you. What do you think? <laughs> no way. <laughs> no. Come on, let's start building your Fizzerari. Leave him yeah. to his. Out uh... Chomabi. Do you want to get in, Sally? Yep. Right. 
right. Are you ready, Sally? I'm ready. On a scale of one to ten, how ready are you? A hundred. Is that mathematically possible? I don't know. OK. Right, they're all pumped up. Ready to go. Three, two, one. Release the lemonade! Oh. It's not working. Oh. You didn't move. Why? Why? No, it's not fair! No, Why? So, what do we know so far? My name is Oucho. That your name is Oucho? D. Hmm. Yeah, to be fair, mate, we kind of knew that already. Hmm. No, what did we learn to help us with the invention? What is better? What do you mean, what invention? The lemonade-powered car must been the whole show building! Oh, I come da. Right, now we have the car. Check! We have the lemonade. Check! We need extra gas. Check! 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 Yeah, Ancho, it's not really helping, OK? I'm trying to concentrate. Now, we joined it all together. We fired up the bottles. And it didn't move. It moved! Hey. It moved, didn't it? Hey. You saw it, didn't you? Hey. Well, why is it moving now? No, oh, I don't understand! Oh. <sighs> Maybe my mum was right after all. I'm no good at making things. Edward, you're no good at making things. Oh, I'll never get a job as a presenter on a car programme if I can't even invent a car that moves. I mean, Top Gear wouldn't be very good if the cars didn't move, would it? No. Actually, no one's done it before. Actually, that's a new idea, isn't it? Actually, it's a brilliant idea. Yeah, oh, it's great. That's, uh, uh, hello, boss? It, it's Ed. I, I've just had a great idea for a show. It's like Top Gear with cars that don't move. <laughs> what do you mean, where I get this idea from? Oh, oh no, the Fizzerari's moving. Oh, 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 it's moving all over the place, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, oh, it's moving, moving really. Oh, it's great. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be really, really great. Bye, Grace. It's not going to be great, it's going to be a disaster. Ah, I've got to win the race. No, the Outro and Beale isn't going to win the race. Ah, Sally, help me! We're not helping you up. Uh, it's your own fault the table collapsed. You've drunk so much lemonade over the last few days, you're about 60 uh, kilos heavier. Ed, that's it. What? The reason the Fizzerari wouldn't move. Hmm? It's heavier when I'm in it. Maybe we need more lemonade. Oh, yeah, that's right, maybe we do. But how much? Talk off. Look, we need to get scientific. Mm. Let's get some scientific weights. Let's go to the weight shop. <laughs> weights, please. <laughs> oh, I can only afford these. <laughs> 1.5 kilograms. Oh. Well, I could only afford them after I bought this limited edition Sally. Oh, lovely. Hey, up, my name's Sally. I'm from Yorkshire. Yeah, come on, let's test it out. Good luck, little Sally. Three, two, one, release the lemonade! Yes! Yes! <laughs> and little Sally's safe as well. If we know one bottle moves 1.5 kilograms, let's weigh you to find out how much lemonade we need. Hop on there. So you weigh 45 kilograms. Each bottle can take at least 1.5 kilograms, so that means we need... This is how I do my math. About 30 bottles. Can we really afford that? Uh, I don't know. Not sure we've got the budget. Have to find out. Come on. So, basically, we need lots and lots of lemonade! <laughs> This week we pitched up at Sally's place Cos Alto had decided that he wanted a race Her car looked like it could be easily made Except she wanted to power it using lemonade We tried lemon juice but it didn't do the bits Then Dow Jones told us we should be using fizz If the gas in a liquid is shaken and expands Turns out you've got homemade rocket power on your hands Propulsion, propulsion is the answer It's what makes things go forward or up Propulsion, hope it's the right answer Else we really might have to give this TV lock up 
We had to shake the lemonade to release the bubbles And this was just the start of a series of troubles Our shaking device just didn't make enough Nor did an air pump, things were getting tough When we tried it again, the car moved a small amount But Sally wasn't in it, so it didn't really count If the answer was simple, our jobs were saved We just needed shed loads more lemonade Propulsion, Banana. propulsion is the answer All this lemonade, you wouldn't think it Propulsion, now let's get on and do it Because if we take much longer, outro will drink it Oh hi there, and you join me, top car show presenting type presenter person Ed Petrie at the race of the century it's girl versus cactus, yeah. And look at this little baby. Powered by 30 bottles of good old-fashioned... Hang on a minute, these are empty! Uh, right, you better replace these. What? But no lemonade means no propulsion for our lemonade-powered car, doesn't it? Huh? Right, get on the internet and sell some of your Dolly Parton memorabilia. There, I'll see you. <laughs> There's no time to see my special introduction again, so beg on with it. I give to you the Outromobile... Outromobile. ...versus the Fizzerari. Woo! Three, two, one, go! Hi boss, it's me. It, it went really, really well. Sally's car went really far. It was great. I was also thinking that CBC should do a new car-related show. Yeah, I could present it. And we... Yeah, I know children can't legally drive cars. But I... Yeah, right, I'll, I'll just get on with the next invention. Yeah, love you. I mean, bye. Oh, by the way, uh, when I asked you to raise the money by selling all your Dolly Parton stuff, did you do that, or did you, in fact, sell the seats of the van? Uh... Great. It's quite hard driving on the floor, you know. I can't reach higher. Look, I might be tall, but I can barely see out the windscreen. Oh, you've sold the... Well, there we go there. Our new show, Ed Now Chose Excellent Inventions. Hope you enjoyed it. We didn't, did we? Yes. We did enjoy Ed Now Chose Excellent Inventions because we didn't have time to see it. Somebody needs to go to the toilet, so I run out with him. I go to the gents. Big Q. Can't get in. I'm thinking, well, he's a cactus, so maybe we can go to the ladies. So there I am in the ladies' toilets, and then the security guard works in, walks in. Oh, well, what are you doing here in the ladies' toilets? I say, oh, that's not my fault. He's a cactus. Oh, well, that's not good enough excuse. I get taken down the office, hauled up in front of people. What are you doing in the ladies' toilets? Blah, 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 blah. Basically, I get banned from every single BBC toilet for life. Oh, yeah, I, I, I can't see that being an inconvenience at any point. I'm not going to go on the desk like you, OK? No. Anyway, we can catch the repeat, can't we, on Saturday at 5.30 here on the CBC channel show. You shouldn't get too angry about it, I suppose. And I have got a clip of next week's show. Would you like to see that? Oh, dear. Yes, where we help to build a robot goalie for oh, Niall. Hello, Niall. I am your robot. You're not a robot. You're Ed. No, I am Sir Save-A-Lot. I am a robot goalie and I do karaoke. Walking in oh, Memphis, what? walking oh, in no. Memphis. Do you see how brilliant I am? <sighs> Let's play football. <laughs> penalty, penalty. <laughs> <laughs> so that's Ed and Outcho's Excellent Inventions next Monday, 4.30, here on the CBBC channel. D. Brand new episode. And we'll try to catch it this time, yeah? Anyway, time for Tracy Beaker now. I might just nip to the toilet. I had a cardinal bath. Oh.
Right, I'm, I'm just going over to the filing cabinet for no particular reason. 